everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming my second video to the series of unboxing my Glossy Box. Recently I started a subscription for Glossy Box and I, I don't know, like I wanted to do it because I really love makeup and I like the surprise that you get every month when you open a new box. I have filmed a February Glossy Box unboxing and I will link that in the description if you want to go and watch that one. This month's is 10 times better. I absolutely love what is in this month's box. By the way, I do have a cold so please do excuse that but let's get into the video. When you receive your glossy box, it comes in a box like this and then when you open it, there's like loads of letters and leaflets and things that you don't need. Usually these are for different subscriptions, so we've got HelloFresh here and stuff about the body shop, just, just stuff that I'm not really that bothered about. But the actual main box for this month, I really like this one in terms of packaging and also in terms of what's inside it. So this is this month's box. Now it looks quite sophisticated, quite simple and I really like it. I said this last month and I'm going to say it again. This would be perfect for gift packaging and things like that. The only issue is, is that it says glossy box on the front. But if you know you stuck a like a label on the front or like a name tag or something like to blah 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 then that would be fine when we get into the box it directly shows you a little leaflet of what is in the box so this month's box it has a theme last month's was valentine's day and this one is empowerment it was like women empowerment day or whatever i can't really remember i'm not a feminist so i don't really like get involved with any of that stuff it says here this month we want to inspire you to chase your dreams with an edit of five fabulous makeup skincare and hair care products created hair care it says hair care but there's no hair care products in here okay um created by innovative and go-getting entrepreneurs from a makeup company that was single-handedly founded by a woman with a vision to a natural beauty label that encourages people to take control of their skincare routine we want the stories behind these brands to empower you so i'm just going to work my way through each product in the box and show a little overlay clip of how they work on my face so this is like a little sneak peek of everything that's in it and let's get started so the first thing in the box is this lip plumper from bye bye i think that's how you pronounce it some of these brands i'm not 100 percent familiar with this is obviously a lip balm kind of skincare product that is meant to plump your lips i did unbox this box a good few days ago so this is not my first impressions because i want to get a feel for the product so i can kind of semi review them in this video so this is supposed to restore and protect dry lips leaving them soft and smooth and healthy and it's supposed to enhance your lips natural shape so obviously it's meant to plump slightly i have used this and it does plump a tiny little bit like at the time of using the product but it's nothing amazing i've tried other products from soap and glory that have been much better for plumping like have really plumped your lips and you can feel it working whereas this doesn't work as well as that but it's still really really nice and moisturizing my lips were so dry this morning and they aren't usually dry like usually my lips aren't dry at all but this has saved them. So I actually apply this before my makeup. I don't know whether I should use it at night in my skincare routine or whether to apply it before my makeup in the morning. It has 100% natural ingredients in it and it's vegan and cruelty free. And this retails for nine pounds and this apparently is its full size. And it says to apply a pea sized amount. And by the way, to actually get any product out of this is so difficult like literally you have to squeeze it so hard so that's the only issue but overall i'm very happy with that that product would i say it's worth the money maybe we'll have to see i it does work well and i do quite like it so far the next thing that we have is this highlighter it's called a dew pot and it's from Laritzi cosmetics it's illuminating an illuminating pot try and get it out and basically they you know it's quite difficult in these glossy boxes because obviously you don't know the shade of the person i think maybe that's something that they should think about a little bit more is how to know the shade of the person and maybe when you sign up to the subscription to state what shade you are or to state what skin type you are so that they have a rough estimate because this highlighter is a little bit too pinky for my skin skin tone and basically it says it smooths it, it's a smooth and blendable highlighter and provides dewy radiance and this is also cruelty free and vegan and as you can see it is kind of pinky in the pot 
when you actually put your finger in this and when you actually apply it to your face it's not quite as pinky and it's a bit more golden toned but it still does have that like pinky tone to it as you might see on the overlay clip and it's not too bad it's quite subtle and it doesn't show up that much so the pinky tone of it doesn't really come through that much which is good but then again you kind of want it to show up because it's a highlighter and this is £15.30 and this is its full size so it's a bit risky because it, you know I personally don't think it's worth the money I apply it on top of foundation and concealer and before I do my powder so I don't know like I end up applying a powder highlighter on that as well so I don't know I don't personally think it's worth it but I will still continue to use this because it's great to try new things but if you're looking for a liquid highlighter or cream highlighter this is probably not the best it's more of a natural one I think it's for somebody who likes to do kind of natural dewy makeup I then have a setting spray I always like to set my makeup after I've done my base and all the powders and like eyeshadow and eyebrows I don't set my makeup with a setting spray after doing mascara or lipstick in case my mascara runs or anything like this this one that was in the box is the Essence You Better Work Fixing Spray. It says it's gym proof, sweat resistant and anti-shine. I have only used this once before today and I will have to let you know in the description box whether this works. So go and check the description box and I will let you know how well my makeup will last. Does it last longer than usual? Because the one that I usually use is this one from the collection. Um, yeah, the Collection Primed and Ready Setting Spray. This is what I usually use and this one is amazing. I've repurchased this three times, so we'll have to compare. In terms of initial application on the face, it's not very finely milled in terms of the mist. The mist isn't finely milled and that's what I usually like in a setting spray is when it kind of like just mists across your face and it doesn't kind of squirt loads of dots all over your face so I do have to go in with a little beauty blender and just kind of blend that out and in but it's not too bad I've had worse the smell of it's okay you know I've had some that stink of sick which is very odd but yeah so we'll have to let you know in the description box how this lasts and this is £3.50 so very affordable. Next up I have a lipstick so when applying my lipstick today I used the Huda Beauty lip contour in the shade Venus which I got in last month's glossy box yes it is dirty already so I used that to line my lips and then I went in with this Bella Pierre Cosmetics kiss proof lip cream and I think the shade is incognito so I'm just going to get it out of the packaging it's quite difficult Oh, my nose is running. Got a cold, sorry. Okay, and this is what it looks like. So it's quite a pinky tone. I've got it on my lips right now. As you will see on the overlay, I applied it this morning. It's the kind of shade that I would not usually go for, but I actually really like it. It is this shade here. I'll apply, actually I won't apply any in my hand because it gets everywhere and it takes ages to get off. This lasts so well, and I can tell you that already because I applied it to my hands, washed my hands throughout the day, and it was still going strong which is amazing um it's one of those lipsticks that doesn't feel really drying on your lips it feels very comfortable I feel like I can wear this all day and I don't even know I'm wearing it which with most matte liquid lipsticks you cannot have that feeling and I think the reason why that is is because you're paying slightly extra for this product well compared to the usual these are 20 pounds and this is a full size product so 20 pounds for this I've never tried a 20 pound lipstick in my life and I think that's probably why it lasts so well and it is so good is because you have to pay that bit extra but yeah I really like it I think usually I would go for a different color but it's nice to try different things and I'm glad that I have tried something different so yeah I do really like this lipstick and I am happy that that came in the box and then finally in this box you get the body shop coconut body body butter and I've tried loads of products from the body shop before usually when I was younger so a few years ago I bought a lot of their products they are really good quality and the smells are very nice they have kind of like strawberry scented things vanilla coconut this one is coconut and I do really love the smell of coconut especially in their products because it's so strong and nice I applied some to my hand uh, a few minutes ago and literally it just smells so good. So yeah, I can't wait to use this. It's really nice and thick. I'm sure you've tried some things from the body shop before, but yeah, I actually really like this. So I'm so glad that came in. And this was 
not this. This was the mini version. Um, they sell the full sized and then this, they also sell the mini. So it wasn't a tester, it was just a mini. And this mini size retails for six pounds and the full size would be 15 pounds. So it's, I personally think this is worth the money. They also gave me a sneak peek as to what is in next month. So if you purchase glossy box products and you, you know, are signing up to the subscription, you don't want to have any clue or anything, then just click off this video right now. But the sneak peek as to what is gonna be in April's is a pomegranate superfood regenerating sleeping mask. So it looks like this here. So I believe that's just like a face mask that you can put on and sleep through the night in. So that is everything for my glossy box unboxing for March. I absolutely love filming these videos because it's just nice to review products, talk about them, try new different things. If they're really good, then they'll probably make their way into my March favorites. So stay tuned for that. But give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and remember to subscribe for more content on my channel and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.